So you want to be an artist? Huh? You like the idea of having fans and winning lots of awards and your mother finally being proud of you? Oh, that, that last part was only me. Mm. Okay. You have these amazing talents. You can sing, dance, write, paint. But you have one big problem. You live in the Caribbean. <laughs> Sucks for you. <laughs> right? Hello there. I am Nix Francois, author, playwright, and director. Welcome to my creative cave where one I dance night. all day and all night one to night. One Love by Bob Marley. Today, tonight, tomorrow, or yesterday, we're going to talk about why most artists in the Caribbean don't make it. Or why most creatives in the Caribbean aren't making any money. This topic is near and dear to my heart because I was once one of those creatives who weren't making a penny off of my work. But now I am proud to say that I am making a livable wage. I am making just enough, just enough to pay most of my bills some of the time. Yeah? And I guess <laughs> that's all we really want, right? <laughs> right? You know, as a teacher, <coughs> As a teacher. Course, course. What? Um, you're not a teacher anymore. Remember, you quit your job to be a full-time artist. Oh, right. <laughs> right, right. In 2018, my creative partner, Niall Banswell, and I created an arts-based youth development NGO called Be Entertainment. And... We run a few after-school arts-based programs for poetry and drama. But what I've found by running these after-school theater-like programs in Trinidad is that people's perception of the arts is kind of weird. Parents love it when their children up on stage, they clap and they shout. But don't you dare yeah, I don't want to think about pursuing a career Gosh, in the arts. Mommy, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Don't wake me up, please. It's this perception that is instilled in us from young that pursuing a career in the arts isn't worth it. And I'm not saying that these parents are entirely wrong. When you look at the statistical... When you look at the statistical evidence of the creatives living in the Caribbean, very few of them are able to make a livable income through their art. Most artists live from gig to gig and end up getting a eight to four job just to sustain their lifestyle. No good parent would want their child to hustle every day and you know barely make ends meet. And I get it. I totally 100% get it. But it is partly because of this perception that creatives find it so hard to be taken seriously in the Caribbean. If you strongly disagree with me, feel free to DM me at Nix the Great on Instagram or leave a comment below. But only if you strongly disagree. Okay? I don't want a weak disagreeers here. The truth is, it is very hard to monetize your art. It takes a lot of time, determination, perseverance, persistence, perspiration, and a willingness to learn. I think some art forms have become easier to monetize, such as photography, but other art forms such as theater, poetry, even music and film are very difficult to make a livable, consistent income off of in the Caribbean. It's been this way for years, but thank God, things are slowly changing, but more on that later. Let's be real, most people don't have the slightest clue how artists actually make money. And unfortunately for the artists themselves, they don't know how to monetize their art. So, they don't make money. We have so many creators in this region. We are so talented, it's wild. But, all of this amazing talent isn't being seen because there are little to no ways to make consistent income. 
And if we can't make a consistent income, then we're not gonna have the time or the energy to produce this art because we're too busy sitting behind a desk in some office. And that's why most Caribbean creatives fail. One of my main philosophies is that people are meant to do what they are good at. The Almighty didn't give us talents to bury them. And no, I'm not saying that everyone should try to make a full income being an artist. But I do believe if there's a way you can do what you love for a living, then you should do it. So that's the situation. How can we fix this issue of Caribbean creators not making a sustainable income? Well, first of all, stop telling your children that artists are lazy. Please, I work so hard. Secondly, let's burst the myth that a creative can't make any money in the Caribbean. Luckily for us, we now live in a global economy, which means that now more than ever in history, people living in the Caribbean can receive funds from anywhere in the world. In other words, the internet is a wonderful place. Of course, you have to be educated on how to actually do this, but I guess that's a video for another time. It's possible right now to be financially sustainable as an artist anywhere in the world. If you want to make money off of your art, there are enough resources to learn how to do it. And lastly, I think that there should be more people involved in the art sector who aren't artists. Now wait, wait, hear me out. As a full-time creative, there are so many skills that you have to learn that aren't related to your art. There's marketing and social media. You might have to learn how to build your own website or write a query letter. But if there were more people who helped artists focus on these other things so they can focus on what they are really good at, which is producing art, then more of us will be successful and the Caribbean art sector will grow faster. But that's just me. Maybe I'm too black, stupid, and ugly to understand these things. And because I don't know how to end things properly, I'm just going to stop recording now. So until next time, bye. I'm going to turn them real loud. They're real loud today. Like for real.